Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a not so summery makeup look, but I was just feeling like I needed to do something a little more on the dramatic side. This would be a great date night look during the summer or night out with your girlfriends. And it's a really sultry, warm, cranberry smoky eye. And I hope y'all enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm priming my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer and then I am spritzing my face with the Hydrating Milky Mist by Pixi just for some extra hydration. For foundation, I am mixing the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I like the finish that the combination of these gives my skin. The Pro Matte is a little bit too matte, so I like to mix it in with the Pro Glow for a more satin, natural finish. For concealer, I am using my all-time favorite Maybelline Fit Me and applying this under my eyes and around my nose. To set my concealer, I'm using my favorite Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder, and I'm just applying this with a smaller brush to really pack on the product so that the concealer stays in place and doesn't move around. To set the rest of my face, I am using the Milani Powder Foundation and I'm just applying this all over my face with a large powder brush. This is a powder foundation, but it doesn't really have that much coverage. For bronzer, I am using the number 7 Golden Sand Bronzer. This has quickly become one of my favorites and I'm just applying this all over my face with a large powder brush. I was feeling quite pale so I really wanted to bronze up my skin and give it some life and dimension so I like to use a big brush when I'm bronzing. For highlight I'm using the sleek Cleopatra's Kiss highlighting palette and I'm just taking the two powder shades in the palette and applying this from my cheekbones up to my temples into all the high points of my face. This palette comes with two creams and two powders. The powders are quite glittery, so um, just a fair warning. And then I'm going in with the Fiona Styles blush in the shade Valley. I'm sorry I didn't have an product insert of this but it's just a really neutral kind of bronzy blush and then I'm spraying all my powders down with the pixie mist again I'm now going in and filling in my brows with the Fiona Styles brow pencil in the shade blonde ash Now, my eyeshadow looks were <laughs> kind of a mess, so I'm going to walk you through all the different steps I took. There were quite a few issues that I ran into, so I'm first priming my eyelids with my Maybelline Creamy Beige Eyeshadow Base, and then I'm going in with a Fiona Styles um, eyeshadow quad that I recently purchased. It's the purple one, and as you can see as I'm blending in this purple shade it was not blending it was sticking to certain areas of my eyes it was super patchy and it was terrible so I just decided to remove it and start over with a different primer I thought maybe it was the primer that I used so I'm going in with my Milani eyeshadow primer and then setting it with my Ben Nye neutral set colorless powder and then going back in with the same purple shade trying to blend that through my crease and as you can see, it is just not blending. It's it's weird because it was grabbing to certain areas of my eyes and it wasn't showing up on other areas of my eyes. I don't understand. I've never had this issue with eyeshadows before, but it was awful. Do not recommend this eyeshadow palette. Terrible. So I just went ahead and removed it all again and we're just going to use some different eyeshadows. 
So I'm going back in with my Milani eyeshadow primer and then setting that again with my Ben Nye powder. And then I'm going in with the Tarte Tartlet and Bloom palette and first taking this Dusty Rose shade and applying this through my crease with a fluffy blending brush. And as you can see, these shadows apply so beautifully, so easily. There's no patchiness. Everything is just seamless. I'm then going in with this darker kind of cranberry maroon shade and I'm applying this right in the crease as well as all over the eyelid. This is going to be the main eyeshadow that we use. So I'm just slowly building up the color because it is an, a pretty intense shade. So I'm just slowly building it up until it is dark enough. I am also taking this shadow on my lower lash line to smoke out the look and I'm applying it from outer corner to inner corner. To give the eyes a little bit more depth and dimension, I'm applying this darker maroon purpley shade and I'm applying this to my lower lash line with an angled brush and also my upper lash line. And this is just going to give the eyes a little bit more depth and it's also going to make our lashes look a lot thicker. And then I'm just buffing it out so that it doesn't look harsh and it's nice and blended. I then coated my mascaras with my favorite L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Mascara. Now I'm going in with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I can't remember the name, but I'll list it below. It's just a cranberry shade and I thought this would be interesting in the waterline, but any color will work. I'm then going in with this shimmery champagne shade and applying this to my brow bones and the inner corners of my eyes. For lips, I started out with this berry shade from Fiona Styles, but after I was looking at it, I wasn't really feeling it. So I'm going in with the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint and I think this is the shade Birthday Suit. I'll have it listed below. And this is just a kind of dusty mauve liquid lipstick and I'm applying this all over my lips, of course. And this is the final look. This is such a great look for any occasion, daytime, nighttime. And I just love how sultry and kind of sexy it looks on the eyes. And it would look great on so many different skin tones. And it would also look great with so many different eye colors. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.